Five years ago today, Tmoster was registered in WordPress. It lasted for a few months to get the present name. And last April, the domain name has changed to reflect the name even better. With more than 100,000 hits and more than 240 likes on the Facebook page, we have made it through good times and bad. By the end of this year, we expect to publish 53 posts, which is better for my application to write 3 from each month, or 36 in total. I missed the February monthly goal by one post due to lack of gratifying goals. From May to July, it was up to six for those three months due to immediate and life and immediate change. The following month, the time with expectations to four a year, with the drama post to each up to five. So that, we will get to see 24,000 hits with 9,700 visitors. The second best performing calendar year on such metrics after 2017. Other than the blog metrics, its Facebook page guides to 73.6%, a whopping year-on-year -year growth rate improvement from 55.6 last year. By the end of this year, Throughout this article request season, 78 proposals were brought in, mostly on the combined Facebook group. Of that, 24 were granted either immediately or as scheduled, a bit more than 30% acceptance rate. By individuals, Janine Chong Shu led in giving proposals to 20, followed by Albert Nemo 12, and JC Gamandon 8. In terms of gratification, as in half credit adjustments, the Mandan clinched the podium with 6, followed by Gimo 5.5 and Chongchu 3. In terms of acceptance rate, Gabriel Hernandez got 100% of the requests granted, followed by the Mandan 75% and Rex Domaliaris 67%. Judging deeper by the titles, I found most ratified proposals difficult to write, and it was treated like a mini thesis. Yet I have regretted some of the good proposals to write on, but they were not chosen. Among those is, first, the answer bonus proposal on Indian and Turkish dramas not airing in the Philippines yet. A month after the proposal, GMA7 aired the first Turkish drama, Prince of Love. I felt sad of permitting such an opportunity, since it will never be a cup of tea for other media bloggers. Another one comes from Ben Paulus Magoo. He posts what if, particularly on personal programming, a la Pascal Tribune. I found it very interesting, though conceited to Dom and Don. Although the topic is recurring, I don't think his proposal would fit by next year. More on that reason, we'll tackle in a bit. While I am disappointed, there are commendations. The two, the two Ryan. Ryan America and Ryan Ortega propose our preferable types of proposals, namely programs and channels. Both have their own proposals rejected. The latter Ryan's proposals were foreign and thus were not clicked, but earned a half credit for reviving a rejected proposal from another. The former did not. Alongside Francisco Thor, he is the weakest link. With that in mind, I will construct a survey and conduct for the first four months of 2019 a year's edition of reforming the proposal system, such as the three strike rules for specific rejected proposals from you, ping pong, the alternation between you and me in the topic, and hybrid scheduling. Dylan Roberto's proposal to change the voting system will be considered. Whatever the results in the survey, I will respect the decision. By next year, I intend to write at least 48 posts, or 4 each month, but not all will be up for grabs. Here's why. 
The year 2019 is a very committed year for the Turks with two major projects. One, as it will be a midterm election year, I already announced about the Filipino Decide series last May. For the first five months, I am committed to write the series on the main work list blog. Two, the coming year will be the home stretch of the 2010s. How time flies indeed. This closing decade perhaps has formed and injected our individual views. Inspired by our team leading in the years, I will tackle the 10 moments on television each year of the decade with its matching video each month beginning March. Because of these, many media issues would miss out. To compensate, there will be updates every Thursday on the Facebook page except national holidays. Normally, the co-op is reserved for myself. However, for this coming first quarter, it will be open for anyone, but I will not partake. The proposals will follow the current process, be in the first four, and get enough support. It will be published on either February or March since January will chug up the scene on the election feeling. Along with all the documents of the turf and possible annual traditions, the three remaining co-ops, Holy Week Insight, Mid-Year Reports, Public Holidays for 2020, and December Insights, Special Edition for Sea Games, there will be at most 12 months slots outstanding for your request from June to December. Thank you for listening to the Surf Talk, and thank you for those wonderful years and have an imperturbable Christmas. Regarding the medium that I set up last September, it was made for generally non-media posts. I really write it for now, but you can follow me there.